All right, so I'm creating this screencast to help uh, teachers, students, and parents who are struggling getting onto um, Google Classroom while at home. The first thing I tell them to do is open up an internet browser. I always use Google Chrome uh, because that is my um, browser of choice. Um, once you are you have your Google your browser open, you're going to want to go to google.com. So um, this is already on google.com, but I always tell them to go to google.com because you will see on the right hand side that um, whether you're signed in to your account. So um, right now I signed out of all of my accounts so that you could see this blue box that says sign in. Um, once um, you see that, you can sign in. Maybe you might see an um, image, an icon of, of another account. You can always sign out of that and sign into your school account. So the first thing I do is I hit sign in. You'll notice that I have three accounts that um, Google accounts that my browser recognizes. This is my teacher school account. This is my personal account. And this is my college account. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign into my personal account so I can show you um, what you might see if you're not in your school account. So this is my personal account. And I'm going to try to access Google Classroom. Um, so there's many different ways you can do that. You can go to the apps on the side here, click on there, and you'll see Google Classroom. You can click on Google Classroom, and you can access it this way. I've bookmarked it, so I can just click on Google Classroom. Students can also go through Launchpad um, and access their Google Classroom as well. If you have borrowed a Chromebook from the school during the distance learning, um, when you sign in, you automatically sign into your launch pad or class link, and you should be able to access it that way. However, um, once I'm on my Google Chrome, um, I can always access Google Classroom by just typing in classroom.google.com and it will take me to my classroom. Now I'm signed into my personal account so it shows that I have no, I don't have access to Google Classroom. I can create or join my first class and put in my um, teacher's code. However, that's not going to allow you to get to their classroom. Um, because of security purposes, you are not logged into the school network, so it will not allow you to um, to get into the teacher's classroom. So you have to sign into their Google Classroom and let me show you, or I'm sorry, your own, your school account. So I'm just gonna show you by signing into my um, BUSD account how it works. So I'm now into my BUSD account. And if I were to go into classroom, you will see this is my classroom. So now I have access to the school um, apps and learning um, programs because I am in my BUSD account. Now, okay, so, I, so I'm into my, um, my BUSD um, school account. However, if I come, go out of this and I Google something because I'm doing an assignment, um, it oftentimes kicks me out and puts me back into my personal account because you notice if I'm Googling, if I look to the right here, this is my personal account. This is not my school account. It kicked me out. So if I were to try to go back into classroom, it shows, oops, it shows that, um, I can't. It's I'm. It's not accessible. And I've had a lot of parents that have said, "Hey, you're not. You know, something's going on." This is the reason why students have to go to the right because um, my personal account has happens to be the default. It's going to continue to go to the default. Now, this is where my classroom is. Okay, so that is like the main thing. Now, I'm just going to show you by going into um, a student account. So, let's say you don't have an account. Um, how you get to your account is you're going to add another account. Once you add another account, 
we're going to use another account. This is when you're going to delete whatever is there. So maybe it's your parents' um, email address or, you know, whoever's account is on there. But you're going to put, as a student, you're going to put your lunch number, your um, five-digit lunch number with the at sign and then stu for student dot busdk12 dot com. So you're going to now sign into that. Your um, password is going to be your initials and your six digit birth date, two digit month, two digit date, and two digit year. Once you um, do that, you'll be able to sign into your account. Um, if you're on yours, you might want to save it um, because you're going to utilize this. If you were to start your um, computer and this is the first thing that you click onto your account, then it sometimes turns it to the default account. Now, you will notice this icon here um, is different because this happens to be my student's account. Um, so this is his account. If you were to click on that, you could see uh, his information or your, your information if you were to click onto it. Now again, he can access um, his Google Classroom, which is my classroom, and then he's able to see the stream. He's able to go to the classwork and kind of see his different activities that he's supposed to do. Now let's say he's going to do one of the activities and again, he's going to Google something, you know, or gets off of the web page. Notice it goes back into my personal account. So it, again, it's going to switch accounts. So that's something you have to be aware of. And um, in order to get back to it, just click back on that icon, find um, the student name, and then you can go back and you can get into um, back into classroom or whatever you need to do. Now, again, kicks out, you gotta kick back in. Um, another thing that you can do once you're on Google Classroom and do the assignments, you can also go into Launchpad. Launchpad will allow you to access uh, the different apps that your teacher might want you to do or you might want to do for your students, which um, ranges for a lot of things that are in Launchpad. So another way to access that is you can go into the BUSD bookmarks. I believe that um, this is something that all students can access. Um, and then you go into your Launchpad. Once you're in your Launchpad, you should be able to go into um, to find all of the accounts. Now, if it's not there, this is the um, link, myapps.classlink.com dash home and uh, again you need to make sure that you're on your um, account this is my account sign out of the teachers sign into the students and again this is just what happens it's annoying very true but once you're here once you're on launchpad you don't need the whole email address you just need the student um, lunch number and again the initials and the birth date and then you should be able to get into uh, the student launch pad and this is the student launch pad you notice because there's the icon that represents the students and not mine so then you can access things so again uh, i did this screencast to kind of show you how to get onto your google classroom and your uh, by getting into your student account. Notice that sometimes it clicks off depending on what the default is, um, the default account is. Um, probably not so much on the Chromebooks that are being borrowed from the school, but if you're on your home computer, if you find issues like you notice in this screencast, it constantly jump back to my default account. Now you can change your default account. Um, very easily however you know if you're borrowing if you're borrowing um, a Chromebook sometimes that's not or I'm sorry using somebody's Chromebook it's really not feasible so anyway just find your account and do what you got to do I guess I hope this was helpful thank you very much